Okay, if you hear any laughter in the back, that is my mom. She is watching something that is really funny, Jurassic Park. So if you hear the laughter, just ignore it, or maybe you don't hear it at all, but I do. Okay, anyway, uh, I just wanted to do this really short video to show you guys some 70s and 60s inspired shoes and a jacket that I was able to get. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, then hello, how are you? And don't forget to push that notifications button if you haven't done it already. Okay, so here we go. Again, I say these are 70s and 60s inspired. I just got them in the mail. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping other than thrift shop shopping. Um, I usually uh, sit home and wait for uh, my stuff to come to the mail because it's, you know, you don't have a choice. There's no stores really open. Okay, well, not for what I want through that. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna start with is this. Okay, I just uh, ordered these um, off of Amazon and I'll hold them close. They are denim and it's a light colored denim. I had a choice on getting a darker color, but I didn't and I kind of wish that I did. I wore them in a picture that I posted on Instagram and uh, I ordered them from Amazon. It didn't take very long to get. Um, unfortunately, I didn't write down, I can't write in the description what the name of the company is that has this. So I can just say that they're from Amazon and you can put in the browser uh, denim covered platform sandals and these will probably come up because you don't have a lot of competition concerning these. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll get a little closer so you guys can see them. The only drawback is that, at least what I thought was a drawback, is the fact that uh, this little stitching area here is a little bit visible. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but other than that, um, that's the only drawback. And I, I warned them uh, this past couple of days when it was like really, really hot. So, if you check my Instagram uh page which is mallard tracy with the mallard being in small letters and the t in the tracy being a capital letter you will see pictures of me with the sandals on okay so let me put these down okay i'll just put them over here okay these are the 60s inspired boot okay i'll just show you guys one of them okay it is an ankle boot that I have waited almost, I thought I was gonna have to wait a month to get them. I also ordered these on Amazon. Um, I thought I was gonna have to wait a month to get them, but I didn't. And it came actually within about three weeks from the day that I ordered it. So I'll get up close. This is the one I think I mentioned in one of my videos where it's just an ankle boot with a buckle, with a strap and a lease to a buckle on the opposite side and a nice square heel, which is always good. The only uh, drawback to the shoe is that it does kind of, it looks like it's flat, but actually it's not. It kind of like curves up a little bit. You know, they try to get that 60s thing and try to add a little bit of conformity, fashionable conformity to that, meaning that anything that is like flat, they figure, oh, that's not attractive. So they take the top and they kind of make it up a little bit. Like they still want that, that you know what I'm talking about. They still want that that shoe, that that look where you have an arch and then the foot goes up. They don't understand that in the 60s, people just did not wear shoes like that. Women did not wear shoes. It was the platypus, which is the flat uh, thing in the front, you know, the way the shoe looks in the front, and the block heel. You can't make a shoe that even looks like a stiletto pump in this day and age if you're gonna go with the 60s you just can't you can't you can't and as you can see they didn't try to make a stiletto but they did try to make that shape that goes up rather than just making it straight but at least they got the front of it right the front of it is square so that's not too much to ask okay and i think the company's called latska i think I'm not like really sure okay so i'll put these here and then I turned around and bought them in black. 
okay and there was a time when the shoe was actually sold out and uh, they didn't know when they were ever going to restock them but I wound up getting an email on my account that said the shoes were back in stock so I said I have got to get them gotta get them I wish it was a full boot I wish that uh, full boot meaning to the knee or I at least wish that it had come in burgundy and other colors but it only came in black and white so I bought the black one and that's what it looks like. So it's just like the other one. It, it does have its level of imperfection, but at the same time, it is very hard for me or some girls, if you wear a size 10, it is very hard to find this vintage boot in a size 10, um, in my mind, at a reasonable price. To me, 250, 375, 475, I just won't do it, folks. I won't do it and I have seen this shoe on a website I don't know if it was Gojane or Mod Cloth it was some website where they're not even based here and already the shoe is in the hundreds and then that doesn't even figure in the shipping the international shipping so I thought I just don't want to do it um, at some point I probably will be able to do it and I probably still won't do it but anyway this is it this shoe cost me $65.99, I think. But I think it was, it maybe even been less than that, but yeah. So this is it if you guys are interested in this. Um, just look up 60s ankle boot with buckle. This may come up, this may come up. Unless you guys know about this shoe and you know someplace else that it can be got. Um, I only know Amazon and I'm just going for the fast, get it to me fast, get it to me fast. That's what I'm going for because I don't wanna wait for this style, I just wanna get it. Cause size 10 is rare and if you have a smaller size, like if you were between a five and an eight, I think your chances are better. But a size 10, some companies are gonna have three or four of those and if you don't jump on them when they come in, you won't get them. Guaranteed you won't. Okay, not at a reasonable price though. All right, the second, the third pair of shoes in this video is this. This is a peau de soie, meaning that it is a fabric, but it's a little, little hard. I just got these in the mail today. I didn't think they were coming until November, okay? And so that's what I was patiently waiting for. They came today. And what I love about them, they are size 10, they are a Mary Jane, and they have this nice 60s type of rhinestone buckle. And I normally wouldn't buy shoes without trying them on, but I've been doing it lately because I have to. And these are just absolutely darling. I don't own a green shoe except for my green go-go boot. So these came in green on Amazon, and they also came in silver, they came in red, and they came in black. If they come in purple, I would have got that. But anyway, they were uh, $62.99, I think. I think that's what they were. I know they weren't more than that. And they are definitely 60s inspired, okay? Or I'll just say 60s period, but this is what they look like. And it has the black heel, which I just love because I can't stand it when it's not a block heel and I'd say it's it's they're pretty much down to the letter they really are they're pretty much down to the authenticity authenticity of uh, of a shoe of that time period so I just had to show this to you guys um, as far as where you can get these things I've showed you all I can say is amazon.com even the the um let's see well you know what i can go to my account and if i can in the description box i will go ahead and i will put uh whatever information that i have on these things that have been shipped um if i don't have that information then all i can say is amazon and i can write what was written to me on my email and perhaps that can help okay because vintage doesn't have to break the bank even inspired vintage doesn't have to break the bank a lot of people do not have a lot of money right now to be spending towards their life's dream in clothing and shoes so um, I try to go as close to what I like and as 
budget inspired as I possibly, possibly can. There's nothing wrong with that guys. So um, I'm here to show you where the styles are at and what you can do if right now you are really like stumped for cash. A lot of people really are right now. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you guys is these earrings. They look like Evian water bottles and it took forever for them to show up, but I am going to show them to you. And this is them. I've never ordered anything like this before in my life. But as you can see, the little Evian thing there, I guess you can't really see it. Yeah, it's not really all that clear. But yeah, these are just like the most adorable thing. I've been waiting forever for them to show up. And then finally they just did. Forever means like weeks and weeks and weeks. These two were not expected to get to my door till November, okay? And I ordered them uh, this September, so go figure. All right, so things are a little slower now uh, in the mail, you know, due to COVID and, and guys, you know, the, the mail is just being like overworked. They're doing everything they can and I thank them. And I don't forget to thank your first responders, your essential workers, anybody that is bringing anything to you and is breaking their back to do it, don't forget to thank them and be patient with them if you can because they're doing the best job they can. All right, so with that being said, um, thank you for watching my channel. Let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to share my video. Encourage other people to take a look at it. And um, I would love to collab with anybody that is into the same thing that I am doing. So that's great too. And I would love to give shout outs to anybody that would like me to. And um, yeah, we all in this together, guys, especially this YouTube thing. We are definitely in this thing together. I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, it's all about the 70s. Bye. Okay, the one thing I forgot to show you guys uh, is my jacket. Okay, it's nothing special, but it, it is to me. And actually, I don't remember where I got it. I don't know if I got it at the Goodwill or if I bought it at uh, Jet Rack. But anyway, it is just a brown velvet jacket, and it's uh, kind of uh, kind of rounded at the bottom part, at the waistline, okay? And it has these rhinestone buttons in the front. Oops, I'm not showing that too good. Okay, it has rhinestone buttons in the front, which are really cool. Rhinestone buttons here with both pockets that a lot of 70s jackets used to have. And the most exciting thing is that the collar has like this nice rhinestone work. And that's all around the back, the collar. Okay, the company is called Christine Alexander. So I don't know who that was. But anyway, here is the, uh, the bottom part of the sleeves. Both have um, little rhinestone work on there. Okay, so I thought of this as a really cool jacket. I'm gonna put it on. Not really dressed up today because I stayed home. So, okay, so this is what the jacket looks like, you guys. And I'll get a little closer so you can see it better. Okay. All right, well, that doesn't really help. I'm all, all I'm showing you is the collar. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And it doesn't have anything on the back. I do have a rhinestone decal that I could iron on the back. I'm not sure I want to waste it on this jacket, maybe on something else. but. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys this, okay? And I ended my video without showing this to you. So this, now I'm saying a formal uh, goodbye until next time, okay? <laughs> so let me know if you like this jacket. And as I was saying, you, you can't see it, but it's like scalloped at the bottom. Okay, like, yeah, I think you guys can see it now. Okay, all right, so this should be some inspiration, uh, I hope. If you are looking for a jacket like this for fall, um, I don't know where else it exists. I think, like I said, I bought it secondhand. So hopefully, um, if you guys are on the lookout for something like this, you might just find it if your thrift shop is open or if your vintage store is open. Okay? It only cost me, if I got it from the Goodwill, it cost me $9.99. If I got it from Jet Rag, then it cost me about $13, maybe $14. But either way, that's always good. You know, that's not a lot of money. So anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time, bye.